guys, how's it going? Yes, walking along and at least it's not as overcast as it was yesterday. So there's lots of sun out and it's a little later today, but <sighs> work was all right. So I got things finished so I could afford to take a little easy getting up. Anyways, awakenings. I started doing some gardening and I put some little seeds in potting mix and you know seed raising potting mix and watered them watered them sprayed them went away for the weekend came back and there were sprouts <laughs> just the seed leaves coming up and out and um, they're a little brown so I'm not sure if they're okay or not whether it's just the seed leaves themselves or the dying or something like that um, I'm not too sure but it had me thinking about awakenings uh, how some people when they've gone through life you know they've married have had kids or they've been stuck in their careers or they've gone to careers that you know their parents wanted to go into and you know they have the so-called midlife crisis which is really just an awakening and a lot of people have many awakenings throughout their whole life so um, I was thinking about that various different awakenings particularly when people come into the BDSM community they go through the frenzy they're awakened anew. Whenever you meet someone that awakens a different aspect of you, uh, a different um, facet, facet side, um, new experiences, new feelings, new emotions, uh, related to old emotions, but they're, they're new for this person. Um, and I was thinking about how many times people go through like realized awakenings like they're actually conscious of themselves awakening in certain aspects in certain fields whether it's discovering something new or revisiting something old and, and just rediscovering that that passion that they had so I, I think it's an important thing to appreciate realize and I guess savor your awakenings they're not always positive I will admit that but there can be a lot of positive that comes from it just awakening new things awakening stuff that you never knew you had feelings abilities knowledge um, talents skills um, relationships emotions um, a new way of thinking you know I won't say it's easy like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon I'm gonna say canoe um, cocoon it can be a struggle it can be hard um, difficult but being present in the moment of an awakening that has got to be amazing um, there's been some times when I've, I've been through it I've just realized certain things about myself when it's like oh my god you know this is what it's about yeah. and seeing you know walking through the arbor every morning in the morning just spraying my little pump spray of water on my little seedlings hoping that they'll come up and just looking at what appears to be barren earth and then seeing a little little seed leaves come through and you know things start to grow you know it's a wondrous thing so guys have you or can you remember and cast your mind back to think about various different awakenings that you've had? You know, who, what, where, when the situation that's brought it about, how has that changed your life? Good or bad, it doesn't matter. These are awakenings. Were you present in the time or do you just kind of think about that now that it was an awakening that you experienced? You know, it doesn't have to be most melodramatic like it is in the movies. It can be just a small, huh, okay, I, you know, geez. <sighs> Something really life altering. You come across this a lot in the kink world. A lot of people awaken and they just see a lot of things. They experience a lot of things. Some things they really enjoy. Some things scare them, terrify them. Things about themselves that they never really knew um, and they find it hard to cope with. Awakenings are not easy, um, not always positive, 
But then they're not always negative either. There's good and bad to each side of awakenings. So, when was the last great awakening that you've had? What was it about? Who, what, when, where and why? How has it changed your life? Anyways, I'm going to continue my lovely walk. The sun coming up. Beautiful. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.